Hello, I'm Sensei Alex Kukuyo, North American Correspondent for Buddhist Store Global. Thanks for joining me for this episode of The Ordinary Buddhist. The title of today's talk is Shovel Snow and Become a Buddha. Before we get into that, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post talks in the future. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that'd be great too. There's snow falling all over the country, including where I live, and part of winter, part of snowfall is shoveling the driveway. And it's a never-ending task. You shovel the driveway, you put salt down, and eventually the salt washes away, the snow falls again, and you do the cycle over and over again. And you do it not because you think you'll get finished or because you think this time you'll finally get it right, but because it's just part of life. Shoveling snow is a goalless practice. If we do it hoping that we'll be finished, we'll never be happy. If we do it simply to enjoy the task, well, then we might be getting somewhere. Buddhist practice is exactly the same way. We chant, we prostrate, we meditate and sit on the cushion. And we do this in the hopes that we can clean away our defilements and allow our Buddha nature to manifest in daily life. And this is good and proper and we've been doing it for 2600 years, going all the way back to the Buddha himself. But as we do this practice, new defilements enter our minds, just like the snow falls on the ground and we have to do the whole thing over again. If we practice with the mind that this time we'll sit on the cushion and get it right, well, we'll never be happy. But if we do it simply because it's part of life, simply enjoying the task, not necessarily being worried about the completion, well, then we might be getting somewhere. Shoveling snow, becoming a Buddha, Goal is practices, but if we learn to do them simply because we can, simply because they're good and proper and necessary for a life with a reduced amount of suffering, well, then it all becomes worth it and somewhat pleasant. Amitabha. <laughs>